Bruce Wards here, everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by, for subscribing. The comments are amazing. I'll get to a lot more tomorrow and greatly appreciated. Look at this beautiful 45 degree angle, monolithic object standing off the surface just underneath of Radisthenus Crater. Some color that we're seeing on the surface that it bothers so many people. What does it change seeing color? That's just an added beauty. We don't know what it is, no. Some say it's gold. Some say it's minerals. I don't rule nothing out, guys. I'm just showing it. And the moon's not gray. <laughs> That's the thing. Radisthenus crater over top there. Isn't that beautiful? And we're going to go see a spectacular area just underneath Copernicus crater. There is a structure there, my friends. And there's a line going to several connections very straight on the path hundreds of miles in front of the building, all connected. Other areas that we'll see in beautiful uh, detail on the surface, a lot of different in this video. Thanks a lot for stopping by, everyone. So for the newcomers just arriving, I greatly appreciate you taking the time to check out the channel. Now, I found UFOs on the surface, and these UFOs are even going inside of the craters. I've seen some exiting the craters. I've posted this all. Um, look through the videos. There's a lot in the playlists. And this is the beautiful surface underneath Copernicus Crater. So we're pressed up on Copernicus Crater. Bottom left, we're seeing that beautiful structuring. But I'll show that in another frame. We'll move this over and we'll go see that structure. But first, I want you to see the details that we're looking at on the surface here. Look at this bright object. It's very bright and it's also symmetrical. Look at the piping down there. Isn't that incredible? I say piping because it looks like they literally connected a bathroom, uh, you know, a toilet with the pipes. And I mean, just it looks like, a, you know, pipes. <laughs> it could be buildings and structures, obviously. Check it out, bottom left, that line. It goes clear across the structure to connections and that my friends is a constructed object they got power up there not exaggerating at all there's even a light source down there everything's symmetrical it's clearly constructed and this object is glowing and it's perfectly symmetrical almost roundish another light source there but look in the center a very high elevated structure and it's the same reflectivity as the surface almost impossible to notice with the eye but again almost impossible not impossible we can see it you know you could see outlines squares even in gray footage you could see it and here mare fecunditatis check it out the beautiful color supposed tower that's there or bridge whatever it may be this is totally exquisite this is sinus iridum and you could see dead center right here see that black rectangle Underneath another black rectangle, it goes off all the way around. This is the point of sinus iridum. You can clearly see a tunnel structure right there. They're overlaying structures one over the other. So do you understand the base is white and on top of that white, they can build any white structure and go unnoticed. So I'm working on these structures. I'm working on these photos. I'm working on revealing the surface and we have, I mean, Look at the basic facts of what we found. One symmetrical object. There's no reason for the object to be symmetrical. It actually looks molded to the surface as it's spiraling down to another flat symmetrical rectangle. I see there's several rectangles here. There's a bit closer, different way. We see a literal haze, which that haze is beautiful. We can't get rid of that haze. It's, it's there. Tyler from Secure Team 10. Bro, you're the biggest out there. You're trying to help people share truth. I really want to take advantage 
of get your amazing, getting your amazing community to try to reach you, bro, because I'm having a hard time reaching you. Yeah, okay, obviously, I'm flooded in emails, absolutely flooded at 45,000 subs. So I can only imagine uh, at 1.9 million, can't, congratulations, bro, by the way, I've been subbed to you for ages. I really want you to check the UFOs that I'm getting on the surface, Tyler, and there is a lot that I want you to show that I'm getting up there that you have to get out if you agree with it. So please take the time to check out a video. It won't, uh, you're not going to waste your time. I mean, you know, get this out there, Tyler, you know, before they take this crap down. And so I'm waiting, you know, to do this full time, guys. January is the month. We're weeks away from me doing this full time and I'm getting a lot of overtime in and you know, I'm trying to pack in hours so that I can leave uh, faster, find an, another driver, teach him the, the, the route and phew, I'm out of here. And then I'll be here doing this full time. A lot coming up, there's a lot to see. Alien life forms on the surface of the moon. Uh, imagine having found UFOs and now even biological creatures, possibly creatures. Um, you know, there's a lot of controversy, never ruling anything out, never ruling out satellites or debris. Of course, it can be all mixed, but debris doesn't uh, move like an intelligent being. That's for sure. And some of these objects are not just debris because we can see they're intelligently driven. This is the area. Is it humorous, mere humorous? It's uh, Theophilus Crater coming up, Katerina um, Crater, Cyrilus Crater uh, coming up. The beautiful colors. And look at the square, symmetrical cutout regions. I mean, it's all constructed. We see so many signs of manipulation on the surface. Enjoy, guys. A lot more coming up. If this channel exists, it's thanks to each and every one of you. Thanks for the support, everyone. Char Gordon, can't thank you enough for the generous donations. And thanks for being a part of this community. Looking forward to interact with you in the comment section. Char says, the work is great and it is appreciated. So are you, Char. Thanks a lot. 